distribute across all the suitcases. It's only going to Portugal. It's not going to go there, is it? Good evening, and welcome to Flight FRE 2482 Faro, Portugal. We are now ready to begin boarding priority passengers only, so we ask our priority to remain seated at the gates. Acordados na sua bagagem, durante a descolagem e a aterragem. Obrigado pela sua atenção. Por favor, encoste-se, relaxe e desfrute do voo. Estou aqui, gente, em Portugal. So this is it guys, this is the road to Brazil. If you don't know already, I'm currently in the process of coming back to Brazil. And in order to do that, I've been required to stay in Portugal for two weeks. Purely because of the pandemic situation, at the time of traveling, I was not allowed to go directly from the UK to Brazil. As it happens, <laughs> the day that I'm filming this video, the situation has changed. And now you can go directly from UK to Brazil. Me and my girlfriend had plans to go to Brazil. We've been trying to do it for ages, so we just got on with it. And now we're in Portugal for two weeks staying here. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my first week in Portugal, how my experience was being in Portugal. Portugal with my new you know knowledge of Portuguese as well I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the adventures we had in the last week it's been a good one as always antes de começar se inscreve no meu canal e me siga no Instagram fale com Jake dá um like here give a thumbs up and uh, let's, 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 come aside. let's start my little story time about my first week in Portugal what's the first phase of getting to England to Portugal was we were required to take a PCR COVID test which is the sort of instant rapid ones the ones where you have to stick the thing at your nostril basically we had this system in the UK where you order a test online which you had to pay for it's muito 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 caro by the way um, and it's delivered to your house and then you get an email with a link and you book an appointment and you make like a, a live kind of zoom call with someone who watches you take this test I did film it, so here it is. Here's me taking my COVID test in front of some random woman who's watching us while sat in her bedroom. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I have 10 seconds, so yeah, you can go to your other mushroom. Oh, test. Yeah, I never thought it'd come to a point in my life where I'm sticking things up my nose while someone's watching me on a webcam. What has life come to, guys? I don't know. So yeah, of course, we passed that test. Um, and basically, what happens after that is you show your negative test to the person on the camera and they send you like a certificate by email, which you then use at the UK border. And also when you arrive in Portugal, you use it and basically they look at it and go, yeah, he's negative, they can come into the country. But anyway, we've done all that and then we headed down to Bristol where we caught our flights because actually for the first week of our stay in Portugal, my parents are coming with me. Of course, it wasn't a flight without complications, especially when you're flying with Ryanair. I don't know if you guys know about the company Ryanair, but it's an Irish company based in Europe and they give you very, very cheap flights all around Europe. But when I say cheap, I mean cheap. <laughs> because <laughs> there's always some sort of mistake. We got onto the plane on time, no problem. We were sat on the runway, pilots, you know, all happy. We'll be leaving in about 10 minutes. And then like 20 minutes later, we still haven't moved. And I'm thinking, I thought he said we were leaving 10 minutes ago. And then like five minutes after that, he said, uh, there seems to be a complication, guys. We've not actually loaded the suitcases. There was no suitcases on the airplane. They have not loaded our suitcases onto the airplane. <sighs> yeah. There you go, that's Ryanair for you. So yeah, slightly delayed. We arrived in Portugal around, I think like 10 p.m. in the end. So firstly, let me talk a little bit about being back in Portugal. I've been here before, but many years ago when I did not know a word of Portuguese. And since I've been learning Portuguese for the past year, but while staying in London, it was kind of strange getting into Portugal um, because all of a sudden I can understand this language being spoken everywhere whereas before I didn't have any idea what they were saying. It was strange for me, like it was like I have a superpower but this is what they say when you know, learn a new language so that was really cool for me and it made me feel even more excited to go back to Brazil because it's going to be the same when I'm in Brazil 
The Brazilian accent is definitely a lot easier to understand than the Portuguese accents. Like when I compared the two, it was a little bit more difficult trying to understand the Portuguese accent. Where we actually stayed was a town called Lagos, a very historic and very popular town for tourists. You get sort of you get all sorts of tourists there: Spanish, French, German, English, a lot of English, I have to say. It's almost like being in England at times. <laughs> One of the things that I did really enjoy while being down there in, in the Algarve was one morning we woke up for sunrise and we headed down to a point called Point da... Hold on, let me get the proper name for that because I don't want to get this wrong. Ah, it's called Ponta da Padaji. It's beautiful, beautiful cliffs. So we actually headed down there for sunrise and yeah, I, I'm not even going to try to explain it. I filmed some stuff and I'm gonna let this little video do the talking. For me personally, I love going to watch sunrises and sunsets, but there's something special about waking up in the morning when everyone else is asleep and going out there and watching sunrise. It's, it's, it's different to sunset. But let me know what you like in the comments. What do you prefer? Do you prefer sunrise or do you prefer sunset? Post in the comments, let me know. So what else did we do? We did a little bit of kayaking, which was an adventure, a very <laughs> funny adventure. It's quite common in Algarve to do like a kayaking trip because there's loads of little caves and stuff that you can kayak into that you wouldn't be able to access any other way. So there's a lot of companies that offer this kind of tour where one guy leads you out there and you follow along in your little kayaks. So obviously my parents and ourselves, me and my girlfriend Tommy, we never done anything like this before. And to be honest, I was quite surprised that my dad was pretty enthusiastic about it because yeah, you know, it's just didn't expect it. But yeah, so we did this kayaking trip. Did it with a group of like seven other people or like couples. And it seemed like ourselves and my parents and one other couple were just absolutely useless and all the other guys were professionals <laughs> because like, as soon as we got into the sea, they were just gone. And we were just like, how do we do this? <laughs> just bumping into cliffs, bumping into boats. Keep going left. Ah. It was chaos and my dad unfortunately even fell in at one point and lost his glasses. It was a bit dramatic to be honest. It was a little bit dramatic. Amazingly though, the, the guide who was running the kayak tour actually managed to dive into the sea and find his glasses. We were very lucky to retrieve them. My dad was fine once he... Once he... Uh, it's funny, it's funny. Um, my dad was fine and once he got over the initial shock of being headfirst in water. I didn't catch it on camera so I can't show you. What else did we do? A lot of eating really. Some of the food out there is really nice. They have a lot of seafood in Portugal so I've been eating a lot of peixe and it's nice, it's very fresh. Um, they have a lot of restaurants that just very typically sell like kind of uh, peixe asado con batata. It's like simple with salad. But there's also like a wide range of restaurants that sell like tapas and stuff like that. It's a lot better than what we get in England to be honest. <laughs> I admit, 
I admit. So we explored some of the places around the Algarve. One place called Praia de Luz, which is actually infamous for the Madeleine McCann case, the girl that got kidnapped. I don't know, actually know what happened to her but um, no one really knows what happened to her, but she's been missing for many, many years now. So yeah, we went to that time because it's actually very popular with, with British people and it's quite a nice little town. There's like interesting geology there and it's very historic. I got some like footage here of what would have been a volcano eruption and like lava rocks that uh, went onto the beach. And I think this is as old as like 17 million years ago and the formations are still there. So. A lot of history but in general wasn't much there just kind of that side of things and i believe there is a few places to hike there but again mostly just restaurants and bars where a bunch of english people sit at and it's just like a retirement home for english people that place so that was prior to lose to summarize guys like it was a very relaxing week and i have to say that algarve is a very nice chilled place so in total we stayed in the algarve for one week we eventually had to drive up to lisbon and it was my first time driving in another country and if you don't know already that like england's like one of the rare countries that drives on the opposite side of the road to the rest of the world so me driving in portugal is a little bit complicated so now we're here staying in lisbon one week before i fly to brazil I'm getting anxious now i'm getting anxious very soon i'll be coming back to brazil in the next video i'm going to show you my day-to-day -day experience of being here in lisbon um, i'm going to try to try to do a bit more kind of day-to-day videos and then compress it into one video and show you my whole week and show you my second week in Portugal and then after that I'll be in Brazil so then me in Brazil filming loads of content about what I'm doing day to day in Brazil and it should be exciting guys I'm looking forward to it so let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Portugal if you ever want to come to Portugal what you think of the videos let me know what you think of this video in general. Did you like it guys? I know it's a little bit different to what I usually do so I'm hoping that you liked it because I want to try and implement this into my future videos while I'm in Brazil. So I've got some cool videos coming up in the next week as well because uh, I filmed some content with our friends who are Brazilians living in Portugal. I'll keep a lookout for that. As always don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and yeah follow me on Instagram Fallecom Jake. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ati mais, ati logo.